AITA for locking up my niece's and nephew's Christmas presents? I am not the original poster. That is you, Hang Mav fan. She posted in our two hot takes. This is a fairly long post thanks to you, Direct Caterpillar 77 for the wreck. Trigger warning. High risk pregnancy. Childhood emotional abuse. Less than. Mood spoiler. Good resolution. Less than. Attaching OOP's list of family members and names here. Though for the most part the main names in this besides Oop are Peter. Timmy. Ben and Becky. Family. Sister. 25. Kate oldest bro. 39. Nate other bro. 32. Ben Sill. Nate's wife. Natalie Sill. Ben's wife. Becky my husband. Donnie. Donovan. Not deployed for Xmas 2022 but was for 2023. Timmy and Brian. 8 yo. Ben and Becky's kids Peter. 12. And Penny. 7. Nate and Natalie's kids. Original post. December 29th. 2023. Sorry. This is a bit long. I tried to condense as much as I could. I. 28 F. Have two brothers. 32 Ben and 39 Nate. And a younger sister. 25 Kate. I have four nibblings. Peter 12 and Penny 7 through Nate and 8 Yo twins Brian and Timmy through Ben. Between my older brothers and I am currently 4 mo pregnant. My husband is in the Navy and deployed so not here for Christmas. A little background. Every Christmas. One of our family hosts all of us for the holiday. From Christmas Eve to New Year's Day. We're all crammed into one house. Last year. Timmy opened every single present after we spent hours wrapping everything the night before. None of us knew until my niece woke us all up screaming and crying because she saw the carnage. Kate and I took her and my two other nephews aside and calmed them down while Nate and S.I.L. Natalie tried to salvage what they could with my parents and Ben and other Sill. Becky took their son aside to put him in timeout. All of us were upset. Of course. But my husband went and pulled out his dad's old Santa suit and dressed up. It really helped calm my niece and younger nephew down. NGLI fell a little more in love with him when he did that and the pictures are so cute. Timmy was not put in time out but he did come out and apologize to all his cousins for opening their presents. He cried when he realized Santa was there and thought his presents were getting taken away. My husband looks like one of those really tough military guys but he's secretly a huge softy and one of the funniest guys ever. He ended up hugging Timmy and telling him that what he did was bad but that didn't make him bad. He told Timmy that he needed to listen to his parents and take whatever punishment they decided. Like a big kid. Later. My sister. Husband. And I were all in the kitchen and Peter came in and asked us if Santa was real. None of us knew what to do or say. He was 11 at the time and I think he was more believing for so long for the sake of his sister. I'm not sure if what Timmy did triggered him asking but it just seemed like odd timing. Kate went to get Ben and Syl to have them handle the conversation since we didn't think it was our place to tell him that. Most of the presents were salvageable except for Peter's brand new Nintendo Switch and Penny's giant stuffed pony. Ben and Becky of course paid for everything to be replaced. We put on Christmas movies and music and basically tried to make it a fun time for the kids. My mother told me that Timmy was never actually punished or anything. My mom and said that Becky decided the reprimand, Santa, gave him and not getting his presents. Right away. He got them the next day. Was enough. She also said that Timmy said he broke the switch and ripped the pony out of anger because H.E. Wanted them but they didn't have his name on them. In the early month per year of Peter being born. My mother had the habit of giving unsolicited parenting advice and coming off as judgmental. It caused a huge rift between her and Natalie for a while before my mother finally realized she. Needed to back off. 
They now have a great relationship and Natalie and Becky both ask for her advice now. But she was worried about overstepping again and given that she found out at New Year's about this. She felt it wouldn't do any good at that point. We didn't have a choice but to let it go. Fast forward to this year. It's Nate and Natalie's year to host but I asked if I could because I didn't feel up to traveling. Due to being considered a high-risk pregnancy, I have a history of hypertension, and that it would just be me and my dog this year. My family all agreed and Nate and Natalie came early with Peter and Penny so they could still technically be the host just in my house. On Christmas Eve, Peter helped us adults wrap presents by watching out for his sister and cousins and he even helped me wrap the giant big stuffed pony I got for Penny. They couldn't find a replacement last year but my husband did before he shipped out last month. Because of my pregnancy, I've been having trouble sleeping so I stayed up later with Kate to watch some movies and drink hot chocolate. Peter stayed for a while and said he wouldn't go to bed tonight because he didn't want a chance. Timmy coming in and opening the gifts. Kate and I just kind of looked at each other and we started gathering the presents up. I told Peter that he didn't have to do that because Uncle Donnie, my husband, would protect them. We took all the gifts and took them the study, office. The really expensive gifts we locked in Donovan's old footlocker. A big storage trunk. From when he was in basic and I locked the door to the study for the night and kept the key with me. When I went to bed. Well. It turned out to be the right thing to do. Kate and I woke up earlier than normal and we began getting out the presents. My parents. Also awake. Helped us when they saw what we were doing. No one would have noticed other than Peter. Kate. Me. And my parents because we had it all out and ready before everyone woke up. Timmy. However. Came down with everyone else and screamed in delight saying he thought Santa didn't come because. The presents weren't there earlier. Nothing else was said then as we let the kids loose. Well. Becky is pissed I did that and said I was an A.H. for punishing her child. I was not throwing Peter under the bus by telling her what he said the night before. She has been really cold to me and passive-aggressive. Everyone agrees what I did was the right thing to do especially since Timmy basically admitted he was going to do it again but I just feel really bad and I'm so stressed. I love our crammed holidays but this week has just been so stressful now and I'm exhausted. Was I the aw? Should I not have locked the gifts up? I just didn't want Peter to feel like he had to guard the presents all night. I'd normally to my mother about something like this but I don't want to put her in the middle and I can even talk to Donovan right now with him being overseas. Relevant comments. Did anyone ask Timmy why he was up in the middle of the night? Maybe ask Peter if you can tell the other adults his fears. Penny did ask him with that accusatory voice, look children can master we didn't want it to be. Awkward, uncomfortable so my dad butted and released the hounds on the presents. As soon as they were told they could go for them the entire thing was forgotten. I don't want to put Peter in that situation right now. I do think everyone knows because he takes all his and Penny's presents to their room when they're not using them though and he did ask me in front of Becky and Natalie if he could use the footlocker for the video camera and beats his parents got him this year, just in case. The important part did niece enjoy her stuffed pony? Oh my gosh. She loved it. Peter and I wrapped it up so it looked exactly like what it was and just covered in paper. She sprinted over to it and tore the paper off like a wildcat. Around lunchtime she was so tired from the excitement she fell asleep on top of it with her arms. Latched around the neck. She tries to take it everywhere with her in the house but it's almost as big as she is. I got the cutest picture of her and it will be featured in my next email to Donnie. He was so disappointed he wouldn't get to see her face when she got it but my mom got a video of it. Update post. December 31st. 2023. I want to thank everyone's comments on my post the other day.
It meant the world to me to know I wasn't going crazy. I did also want to add since it came up a couple of times. I used fake names and I mixed them up a couple of times while writing the post sorry about that. I added them below again here. Family. Sister. 25. Kate oldest bro. 39. Nate other bro. 32. Ben Sill. Nate's wife. Natalie Sill. Ben's wife. Becky my husband. Donnie. Donovan. Not deployed for Xmas 2022 but was for 2023. Timmy and Brian. 8 yo. Ben and Becky's kids Timmy is the one who opened the presents in 2022 Peter. 12. And Penny. 7. Nate and Natalie's kids. I also saw a few people mention that this seemed fake or like a repost of something else so I googled it. Apparently, kids opening gifts early is not uncommon as people in the comments pointed out but mine was similar to another post but I wasn't sure whose. So as I mentioned, my husband is deployed and where he's at the time difference is killer and the internet is spotty. We mainly communicate through letters and emails when we can and sometimes video, phone calls if we're ever able to try and work it out but it's rare. Because of all this, I never thought he'd see this post. But apparently, he follows this community. Just for those that don't know, people in the service can use social media while deployed. They just cannot use anything that posts their location. Anyway. My husband emailed Ben the post and asked if this was us. My brother confronted me about it this morning and I broke down. Screw pregnancy hormones. And said that it was. Becky has been making comments like this, oh. Better make sure op hasn't locked the dessert up. Or op I'm calling the kids down for a movie. Don't lock up the internet. But the way she said it was joking so no one really picked up on it but me. It was really getting to me by that point but I couldn't tell if I was being hormonal or not. To say my brother was pissed is an understatement. He sent the posts to my siblings and parents then he and Becky went into the study to talk and they were in there for a couple of hours. My mom was angry because I didn't tell her what was wrong as she'd been asking. She chalked it up to me missing Donnie. Natalie. Who is an EMT? immediately had me take my blood pressure. I have one of those home use BP cuffs things that my doc has me using to monitor myself. To make sure I wasn't too elevated. I'm fine. Higher than I should be but not worried. I am setting up an appointment with my OB just as a precaution at her insistence though. My sister lives with my parents while she's at grad school and was already planning on moving into one of the guest rooms in late January since my family doesn't want me to be alone while Donnie is deployed but she's going to do it sooner. Especially since there is a high chance my doctors will put me on bed rest in the future. When Becky and Ben came out of the study they both looked like they had been crying. The three of us went into the kitchen to talk and Becky apologized to me. As someone else said, she was embarrassed about what happened last year since Timmy is typically a very polite little boy. Even she isn't sure what possessed him to do that last year. Her snapping at me was also because she was embarrassed because Timmy admitted to trying to go down. Again, she and Ben tried to set up the kids' sleeping arrangements so they'd hear him if he got out of bed. But this kid is smart as hell and got past the bell they tied on the end of his bed. Her reaction was apparently because of some childhood trauma surrounding Christmas. She has no contact with her parents. We all knew this and do our best to make her feel as welcome as possible. Because they were emotionally abusive towards her. Apparently. For B days and Xmas any gifts she got her parents would take away and either return for the money or throw them away since she was not a good girl and didn't deserve them. So that's why she goes all out for b-days and stuff for her kids. She doesn't want them to feel how she felt. What happened in 2022 jarred her and she just didn't know how to handle it. She'd hoped that Santa being disappointed would be enough.
My brother also apologized because he realized he should have pushed for an actual punishment as well. They also told me Timmy is going to see a specialist this year about his behavior they've just been on a waitlist with a specific doctor they've been recommended to. I didn't know this but Timmy has broken some of Brian's toys before so that's why they've always tried to get them the same, similar presents to stop the jealousy. They both recognize this is not good either and unfair to Brian and are hoping to try and come up with a plan for this. I did apologize for not at least giving her a heads up when I was doing it since she was still awake. But she refused to accept it saying that it was the right thing and I didn't do it maliciously. Next year is their year to host so she's already asking to borrow the footlocker since it's the most secure thing and they don't have a space like Donnie and I do to lock stuff away besides their attic. I think we're in a good place now and she's and Ben are going to apologize to the rest of the family. Peter and Penny particularly since it was their presence that got ruined last year. For not handling the situation appropriately. We're getting ready to go out to dinner for New Year's Eve but I wanted to let you all know how. Much I appreciate your words and just to give you an update. Becky would also like me to tell you she appreciates those who called out her behavior and she plans on doing better and going back to therapy. Have a happy new year everyone and thank you all for your kind words. Relevant comments. Did she explain why she was being passive aggressive all day? Because it sounds like she made excuses and didn't apologize. You're right. And she very much acknowledged that what she was doing was out of line and she apologized for it as well. Even she said she didn't have an explanation for it. And that's one of the reasons she's going back to her therapist she and Ben were in the study for a while arguing. We could hear the raised voices. I forgive her because I know that's not the kind of person she is but I told her that while I want is to get back to how close we are it may take me a little time to completely be okay with her again. Because of how she'd acted. Both she and Ben know they messed up and are going to do their best to do better. I very much appreciate the concern. A lot of the comments have helped me think a little clearer without letting my emotions or want for everything to be okay to just take over. On therapy and improving parenting. I agree with you. The specialist they're seeing helps with behavior diagnosis to see if Timmy has anything like ADHD, autism, BPD or anything like that. ADHD runs in my family and BPD in Becky's so there is a chance. They're doing it to try and understand why he gets to random outbursts of emotion he sometimes has. They are trying. Which is why I was so shocked by Becky's reaction before. Part of it is her own trauma that she realizes she hasn't addressed properly but if Timmy has some diagnosis then that will change their parenting tactics a little. I feel like there is a lot of different things that can be done between not punishing Timmy to taking his presence away. I don't get why they didn't try anything in the middle. That said, I'm glad they were able to work something out and get everyone therapy. Although I feel like just a normal punishment would suffice since he's apparently a good kid. Usually but who knows. Maybe I'm just being weird about it but I feel like it's so strange for the husband to have emailed. The post to Ben instead of asking Oop about it. I understand that she has her own trauma. But that doesn't excuse her behavior and actions. Hell. Even if I'm mistaken. Syl and her husband are still in the wrong. They should have let all the adults know about their son's issues and what was going on and had a meeting to discuss what to do. Not hide everything. I almost didn't read this one after seeing the cast of characters at the start. But it was much easier to follow than that made me anticipate it would be. Am I the only one that doesn't feel sorry for Becky? Oh I have childhood trauma, like you were being an asshole to a pregnant woman because you can't handle your child. Becky sounds pretty awful. 
I would keep my distance from her from now on. Her parenting sounds like the real problem with regard to Timmy. Childhood trauma is not an excuse to make a high-risk pregnant woman without her husband feel bad. Especially when she was right to lock up the presents because the kid wasn't punished so he tried. To do it again you'd think with having to replace a Nintendo Switch they would have tried a little. Harder to make sure it wasn't a repeating thing. Why did Oop apologize for locking up the presents? Sorry I took precautions that turned out to be necessary with giving you a heads up to protect your adult fifis. Poor Brian. I doubt his parents do anything to protect him from Timmy. A lot of what adults describe as acting out can be super hurtful to other kids who don't have the agency in their lives to protect themselves from it. Oof, there is nothing worse than asshole kids with parents who refuse to parent. This does not feel concluded. And this is how Peter's future hang-ups were created. He now will feel like it owes his duty to protect others and sacrifice because he feels responsible. Timmy was old enough to know better and literally destroyed a Nintendo Switch out of jealousy. And then he was going to do the same thing again this year. His mom is just as bad as I'm tired of people. Trying to use their childhood trauma as an excuse for being a terrible person. She was horrible to op for no reason when it was her child that was the problem. Op should be careful and keep an eye on Timmy because if he's acting like that at his age who knows. How worse it'll get. I would never let him be alone around my children. I guess this is why my parents would not let me go see the presents earlier when I was younger. I never thought to open them before everybody else or anything I just loved Christmas. And the sight of the Christmas tree after Santa visited is magical. I get it now. I really wish people would stop blaming ADHD for their children's awful behavior. I have ADHD. And I never pulled stunts like this. Slash. Timmy is the Grinch incarnate. I was Timmy when I was six. Got up early. Opened every present. Just to open them. All my presents got put away until after New Year's. And I had to do extra chores until the end of January. I'm glad this resolved the way it did. But Becky was an AH to oop with the passive aggressive comments. There are so many possibilities Becky wanted to shame the oop or worse. Provoke the oop to lashing out and making Becky the innocent victim. I'm glad that the oop is setting boundaries with Becky. She and Ben need to re-earn everyone's trust. We don't know what's wrong with him. We don't punish him when he's bad and he's only getting worse. Quote. I truly will not have kids. Kids like Timmy are not easy to handle. I'd be so pissed that I'd say Santa is giving him charcoals because of last year's fiasco. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.